Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back to Yas Marketplace News. This is Riz and I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest Yas Currency News. Now if this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to get the latest out of Yas Marketplace News. Alright, so guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great time. I'm having a great day myself and I hope you are uh, having um, uh, some great stuff today. So um, in this video, I would like to talk about a lot of things, lots of very interesting news about EOS and your favorite crypto coins. Um, these news and rumors we have gathered from over 500 online videos and research links every day and they are not to be taken as advices to buy or sell crypto. However, what we strongly suggest is that you guys do your own final research to make the best decision for yourself. So guys, um, before we go any further, uh, I want to introduce you to our website, which you can use to um, gather more information about your favorite crypto coins, get the latest news about EOS and other uh, blockchain uh, platforms, and more interesting news. And not just that, but we also have lots of great stuff going on here. I'm talking about preferredcurrency.news. And once you are in our page, this is how it will look like. And all you got to do to be a subscriber is scroll down and look for the PayPal icon. There you go. And you can use this option to pay for a recurring uh, $15 per month fiat. Or you can even use a Coinbase option uh, for only 180 annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto coins. So guys, um, let me just give you a sneak peek as to how our um, newsletter looks like. So this is the newsletter that we have sent all throughout our subscribers all over around the world 12 hours earlier before we even broadcast them live here on YouTube. So that's um, 12 hours earlier before the rest of the world gets updated. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and uh, visit our website at preferredcurrency.news and be a subscriber. Now like I was saying, um, this is uh, a copy of our newsletter issue that we have sent to our uh, subscribers last night. And as you can see, once you are led to this newsletter, um, you will see that there are some very interesting articles that we include in our newsletter as headlines. So for today's headlines, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency or CBP reviews the use of blockchain technology. Also in other news, Toyota uses blockchain tech to reduce fraud in digital advertising campaigns and also NEM opens blockchain hub in Melbourne. Alright, so those are very interesting news and I want you to know the latest out of those uh, topics 12 hours earlier before the rest does. So go ahead and check us out at preferredcurrency.news. Alright, so... Um, I will highlight or I will talk to you about, I will walk you through about um, everything that is included in our newsletter. But uh, in this video, since I will be talking about the articles that we have included in our daily newsletter issue for October 17th, or for, uh, yeah, October 17th, is um, this website over here or this spreadsheet, which is we call Donald's Research List. So, all you got to do is to click the button that says Open Spreadsheet, and it will lead you to this uh, spreadsheet, as you can see. So, after you click the above Open Spreadsheet button, after the file opens, you can uh, click on the top left corner that says File, and... Uh, make a copy so that you can have your own version which you can modify as you wish for your own purpose and research. You can add columns and add your personal notes and comments or information to your own file copy and you can notice at the very very bottom of your spreadsheet going to the right for more tips and you are even welcome to join our uh, or to review our spreadsheet on your own YouTube and other channels. So um, as you can see this is very exclusive uh, in our newsletter, so I, I suggest that you go ahead and check us out right now. So this is 
uh, Donald's research list for October 18th, 2018. So as you can see, it's full packed with all of the uh, coins that are in the news today. And all of them have legends. So um, tokens that are uh, highlighted red had negative uh, negative reviews. Um, bit or, or coins that are uh, highlighted with orange or tan are neutral. Yellow are fair. Green have good news. But those tokens with the blue highlight have the best news for today. So that gives you a lot of to, uh, a lot of things to think about. So also included in the spreadsheet is. Each, uh, each coin's uh, recent price in U.S. dollars, its share of total market value and not the capital, its Google searches compared to the past seven days, the 50 SMA candle movement, number of positive technical indicators, and the 24-hour current volume versus price, seven-day volume versus price. Uh, and it's 30-day volume versus price and of course the percentage that the token has been issued also you can find lots of great stuff here in the spreadsheet like uh, 1.2 of the recent price is this Bitcoin price over here so you can see that percentage of it 1.4 of the recent price is this Bitcoin price 1.6 1.8 and 2 times and there are uh, even hidden columns which you can check out if you have your own copy of this spreadsheet so again you can never find this very comprehensive very useful spreadsheet anywhere but here at preferredcurrency.news so go ahead and check us out at preferredcurrency.news and subscribe to our daily newsletter all right so going back to the news that we have included in our newsletter for today First is about U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency, or CBP, reviews of the use of blockchain technology. Alright, so the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency, or CBP, has concluded testing of the blockchain technology as it at its borders. The technology was used for over a year and was designed to track NAFTA and CAFTA agreements. Discussions on the results of the test will be held this December. So blockchain is being used at the U.S. Custom and, uh, Customs and Border Protection Agency for import tracking. It seems now that the U.S. government will be reviewing its, uh, its use of the blockchain technology in this regard over the next few months. Discussions will also be held regarding the issue until December 2018. The review is part of deliberate efforts bring, uh, being made to review trade-related regulations in the U.S. There has been testing of the blockchain technology in tracking import shipments without having to compile complicated paperwork. About its previous use, in August this year, the CBP's LiveFi blockchain system was officially put into use. The purpose of this was to verify the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, and the Central American uh, Free Trade Agreement, or CAFTA, certificates. After over a year of testing, the results are being compiled and will be released in December. This is according to the Celeste Cortano, the global, uh, the global product manager for the supply chain software, um, software firm Blue Jay Solutions. In a quote, uh, they said, we're, uh, we're looking at blockchain technology to see how it can be used in the supply chain arena. It's particularly important for keeping trade secrets at, and that's what this architecture is designed to do. This new ground for us, so, ex so it's exciting. And quote, said Vincent Annunciato, director of the CBP's Automated Commercial Environment Business Offices. Also, this isn't the first time that the DLT is being used uh, for border-related transactions. The UK is also reportedly considering using blockchain in their relations with the Irish border following the upcoming Brexit move. Alright, so guys, what can you say about uh, the CBP reviewing the use of blockchain technology? Do you think it will, uh, do you think the state or the country can benefit from it? L um, let us know in the comment section below and let's go on to our next headline for today. 
Now, this is about Toyota using blockchain technology to reduce fraud in digital advertising campaigns. Japanese car manufacturer Toyota has partnered with blockchain advertising analytics uh, analytics firm Ludis, uh, Lucidity to cut down on fraud when buying digital ads, according to a press release October uh, published uh, October 16th, formerly known as KR8. OS Lucidity was founded in 2017 in Los Angeles and offers Ethereum blockchain solution to track supply chain payments so advertisers can monitor how their funds are allocated. Through the new partnership with Lucidity, Toyota and global ads agency Sachi and Sachi are reported to uh, reportedly looking into attain transparency in Toyota's digital ad campaign buys and eliminate waste spending. The size of the automotive digital advertising market was estimated at nearly fifteen billion dollars in the U.S. in 2018. Nancy Inouye. Uh, media director at Toyota Motor North, uh, North America reportedly told advertising trade publication Ad Age that the campaign with Lucidity resulted in a 21% uptick in visits to Toyota's website. As reported, Lucidity was able to flag sites and apps with a high level of impression and click discrepancy, which indicates fraud or bot infiltration to move funds to sites with higher a uh, higher performance in reportedly said that Toyota wanted to go deeper into the programmatic space in particular because it is an area where quite frankly we don't have transparency and visibility according to the ad age the company now plans to extend its deal with lucidity beyond the originally planned three-week test in added in a quote um, we are in discussions to take it to the step, uh, next step and test further uh, with additional campaigns for a longest period of time. We feel that if we go longer, we would see stronger resorts, uh, results. End quote. Uh, Tom Scott, media director at Sachi and Sachi, stated that even with high standards of anti-fraud and viewability filters already built in, Lucidity was able to deliver significant value add by further optimizing the campaign, he added. Alright, so guys, do you think uh, Sachi and Sachi or Toyota even made a very great decision about um using a blockchain technology to reduce fraud in their digital advertising campaigns let us know in the comment section below and last but not the least uh nem opens blockchain hub in melbourne so nem has opened a new hub in melbourne and this is in addition to two others opened in Australia this year. The hub helps businesses integrate blockchain technology in their business models. Now, one of the most important steps that need to be taken in securing acceptance for blockchain technology is educating the public and implementing the technology in businesses. Now, which is what the NEM Foundation is doing by opening a blockchain hub in Melbourne, Australia. Now, the hub is meant not to only spread awareness about blockchain, but also to assist business owners who are interested in it. This is not the first, but the third hub being opened by NEM, as one was opened in Australia this year in Brisbane, as well as in Westport, New Zealand. Now, the purpose of these hubs is also to promote uh, NEM's official currency, which is XEM, and its blockchain platform. Now, this helps to further NEM's dominance as the strongest uh, strongest blockchain community in Australia as of now. Jason Lee, NEM's expansion director for Australia and New Zealand, has stated that the location of Melbourne is delicate, uh, deliberate as there is a large network of blockchain entrepreneurs there. We, uh, in a quote, he added, we want to be near that activity, end quote. 
The hub is based at Stone and Chalk and is helping to connect a number of businesses such as law firms and so on to the blockchain network. A lot of businesses do not have the necessary support and information needed to take advantage of the blockchain technology and these hubs help drive discussions and the hubs give them a physical place to access all of these. The flexibility of our technology means it has applications in various spaces, NEM's Australia lead Jian Chan says. Lee says that the education of the business about blockchain will drive further adoption and acceptance in society and that a lack of information could do more harm than good, saying in a quote, a lot of imp uh, information that is convol uh, convoluted and sometimes misleading, end quote. All right, so guys, would you like to have your very own blockchain hub in your own country or in your own city? Do you think that will really be helpful to businesses to um, gain awareness of how blockchain and the blockchain industry can uh, help them grow their business more? Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, there are lots of great stuff that we will still be talking about in my next videos today. So just tune in. Um, stay uh, notified by our uh, notifications bell and guys um, also don't forget to check us out as uh, at well, um, preferredcurrency.news and I'll see you in a bit I'll be making uh, more videos about more interesting things about um, preferredcurrency.news PCN our daily newsletter issues and more so guys thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in a bit bye